How many of us have felt completely carried away by life's unpredictable storms? Like boats on the ocean, our moods and behaviors are sometimes tossed by the waves. What if I told you the Stoics had a secret? How to keep that boat steady in severe waves so you can tackle life's unknowns? You must thrive when things become tough, not merely survive. Today, we'll explore Stoicism's core principles and discover timeless wisdom that could improve your life and thinking. Rule 1. Your Daily Life Keep reading to understand how to regulate your thoughts and behaviors to achieve your goals, even in difficult situations. Please watch the whole movie and click subscribe if you enjoy our life-changing concepts. Because you're not like most Stoicism students here. You're different and eager to battle the conventional and transform your life. It may seem simple, but understanding it in Stoicism changes everything. Understanding this concept involves recognizing what you can and cannot do and where to focus your thoughts. News, views, and events bombard us daily, making us feel many things. Since our strength comes from our actions, Stoics advise us to consider them. You can change your preparation, but not the weather. You can modify how you act around others, but not what they think. Why worry about things we can't change? Blow on the sails instead of the rudder to steer a boat fails. Your progress is limited. We have actual power when we focus on our actions, decisions, and thoughts. We handle difficulties better and feel calmer when we stop reacting and start doing. Implementing this idea can change everything. Separating ourselves from chaos that isn't helping us achieve our goals helps us use energy wisely. Imagine how serene life would be if we stopped allowing outside factors determine our happiness and focused on what we can control. Not only does this change and focus quiet our thoughts, it gives us the means to live fuller lives. Stoic wisdom centers on realizing that power comes from within. Second principle, perspective change. Accepting this will help you live a good Stoic life. Stoicism's basic premise can improve our life. Many Stoics believe that our thoughts about events bother us, not the events themselves. Our feelings are based on how we think about events, not the events themselves. It's just happening until we give it meaning. Traffic can be a nuisance or an opportunity to listen to your favorite podcast or music. The issue hasn't changed, but your thoughts affect how you feel about it. This notion shows that changing our perspective can alter our emotions. Changing our thoughts can improve our mood and minimize our anxiety. We see the world differently with each color, like wearing glasses. If we regard situations as unsolvable and unfair, we suffer. But we grow when we use problems to learn and improve. This notion requires awareness of automatic thoughts and choosing to change their emotional impact. Like, is there another way to see this situation? So, what can I learn from this? Recognizing negative sentiments and striving to find the positive in them is key. The most liberating aspect of Stoic understanding is that we control our ideas. We don't just accept life. We become active watchers who see the positive in everything. This isn't simply about survival. We grow by turning every difficulty into strength and inner calm. Adopt this notion and observe how shifting your perspective may turn challenges into opportunities. Principle 3. Accepting Pain to comprehend and be patient with others, this stoic viewpoint is crucial. It reminds us that everyone sees the world differently due to their ideas, experiences, and biases. When a coworker shouts at you or cuts you off in traffic, you can get irritated quickly. Stoics teach us to stop and consider that the individual is acting based on their current condition, which I don't know anything about. They may be rushed due to a family issue or a tough day and lack of patience. We might remember that their acts reflect their worldview, not a wish to offend us. 
This helps us respond with empathy rather than rage. Besides avoiding conflict, this concept helps you get to know individuals. We all see the world via our own experiences and emotions. Recognizing this improves our relationships and emotional intelligence. Realizing that people's actions are based on their perspectives helps you keep calm and not take things personally. If you follow it, this principle can shift your worldview. It's understanding that we can't know what makes someone act a certain way, but we can choose how to react. While you shouldn't tolerate terrible behavior, you should try to understand them instead of judging them. If you didn't waste time and energy on insults and upsets, you could be calmer and get more done. Use that energy to respond in ways that showcase your finest self. Understanding that everyone acts from their own perspective is powerful. Building barriers instead of bridges of understanding. Fourth rule, think before acting. This is about delaying your response to events. Consider how this brief break might benefit your life and relationships. Thinking instead of acting. What does that mean? You're upset by what someone says. Our first reaction may be to resist or withdraw. However, acting quickly in a hot situation typically worsens matters and makes you feel worse. Slow down, breathe, and think about what makes you furious, says Stoicism. Is it about what was said or past fear or hurt? This time to consider lets us act consciously instead of instinctively. We train our minds to be independent of our emotions by following this idea. Creating mental strength is like creating a muscle that helps you overcome automatic responses. It becomes evident that your emotions are indicators to investigate, not forces to follow. Instead of ignoring your sentiments, try to know them so you can behave rationally. This habit of reflecting can also improve your relationships. Think about it to expand your thoughts and ideas. You start to see conflicts from multiple perspectives. This can lead to more kind and productive responses. Consider how this principle can help you grow from difficult situations. Think before you act to prevent an argument, develop your character, and think logically. This can help you feel deeply at peace with yourself by moving you away from life's ups and downs and toward your rationale. Before acting without thinking, ask yourself, what's really going on here for me and the other person? Thinking time is where genuine comprehension and knowledge lie. While difficult, it helps you handle life with ease and calm. Free and self-sufficiency fifth principle. Stoics seek freedom and independence. We should develop a life based on our own resources rather than outside circumstances. The lesson is that true independence comes from what we can do without, not what we have. Some people exhibit self-sufficiency by living alone or without power, yet stoicism urges otherwise. It's about growing inner strength to enjoy life's joys without getting dependent on them. Helping ourselves believe that happiness and peace of mind are not based on money, popularity, or relationships. Consider how freeing it would be if you didn't need the latest technology, friends' approval, or perfect health to be happy. Develop inner strengths like knowledge, virtue, and self-control to construct a health foundation that outer changes can't undermine. The most crucial aspect of Stoicism. You gain power and control to endure life's ups and downs. This approach helps you simplify your life by eliminating unnecessary items from your thoughts and body. What do I really need to be happy, you wonder? Answers are frequently far lower than expected. Eliminating unnecessary dependencies makes you more flexible and strong. Therefore, simplifying your life makes you free. Being self-sufficient improves relationships too. Without wanting others to please you, you can be more real and caring. You exhibit your best self when you converse, not your negative self that wants something. Self-sufficiency and stoicism influences how you handle challenges and live your life. You learn to love, give, 
and receive more readily when you require less to be happy. This manner of living gives you freedom that life can't take away. Principle 6. Fate Love Stoicism is often called a more fatty, Latin for love of fate. It's about being enthused about life's challenges, not giving up. Understanding that every incident, good or bad, was supposed to happen and may have helped you grow is a powerful approach to accept things. Accepting your fate doesn't mean appreciating your life with all its ups and downs. This stoic philosophy advises us to accept life as it is rather than wish for change. An alternative view, even when it's not clear, every challenge and person we meet has something to teach us. Accepting your fate helps you learn from life's challenges. This is proactive. Life's challenges become vital for your growth. You don't like pain, but you make the best of it. You know these events build character and strength. Imagine living in this armor. Luck doesn't throw you. You ride it. You stay calm as life changes because you know each event is essential. This perspective is liberating. Your belief that everything works out for the best eliminates your fear of bad luck. Acknowledging your situation helps reduce bitterness and regret. If you believe everything happens for a reason, even if it's unclear, you're less inclined to retain grudges or regret what could have been. Instead, you focus on learning and improving. Following the Stoic philosophy of a more fatty, you relish life's uncertainties rather than accepting them. Being open to everything implies accepting it with open arms. You will be strong and joyously able to bear life's ups and downs. These stoic concepts can improve your life, turning every crisis into an opportunity to grow wise and at peace. Our vacation is unique because of how we manage it, not what happens. You read the stoic journal with me today. You may discover more about these life-changing ideas by watching the new movie. Until we meet again, develop your inner force and live deeply.